Hey there. So today we are talking about tarot and tarot in gaming. Actually, I want to amend that. We're talking about how tarot and games are basically the same. Yes, we do look at tarot as this practice of occultism and crones and crystal balls and dark rooms, but actually tarot is a parlor game before it became a mysticism outlet. People forget that the playing cards, you know, hearts, diamonds, aces, you know, et cetera, clubs, that was actually used as tarot first. Tarot actually came from your typical bicycle card deck. But I first want to introduce you to this really cool article located on Rock, Paper, Shotgun and written by Edwin Edvins Thirwell. It's called why all the best game developers play tarot. I have an opinion that tarot and other games of the occult actually weren't occult games at first. They evolved that way. But I want to have Edwin's article go ahead and give us some feedback. I'll list everything in the link section so you can read the article in full. Tarot dates back to at least 15th century Italy, though its precise origins are unknown. Over hundreds of years, it has slowly dispersed across Europe and overseas, always changing. Today, there are hundreds upon hundreds of interpretations of the standard tarot's 78 extremely open-ended card concepts, botanical and animal-themed tarot's, decks based on movements such as Art Nouveau, Lysenteros for The Nightmare Before Christmas and The Legend of Zelda, satirical decks featuring Nixon and Roosevelt, slapstick decks made up of paintings of rubber chickens. We associate tarot with prophecy and personality reading, but that's not why tarot became ubiquitous. It wasn't until the late 18th century that fortune tellers and organizations such as the Order of the Golden Dawn hint, hint, I have one of their decks, began using tarot as a mystic instrument. The reason for tarot's spread is that tarot is a game. Take away the major arcana, a triumphal procession of 22 allegorical face cards, and you've got something like a vanilla deck we use to play poker or solitaire. Four suits of aces, number cards, and court cards, albeit with one extra, the knight. People still play games with tarot. I think we use them in my hometown, Genoa, but also in Naples, says Federico Fasche, a game design lecturer at Goldsmith University and one of the Cardomancy's contributing developers. There are many games that use this slightly extended kind of deck, usually games that are based on trumps, trying to get as many cards as possible, with different combinations of cards to score more points, stuff like that. They tend to be very simple games, but in Italy, it's pretty common to see people playing these games. It's a bit of an old people's pastime. Fasche himself was introduced to tarot by his aunt. 